Are you looking for a way to extract audio from video and save it? Here's how. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. The first thing that I'm going to do is bring this clip down into my timeline. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I don't need the rest of this clip, so I'll split it right here by tapping on the scissors. And I'll delete the half to the right. I'll tap on it once and tap the trash can. Now I'll tap on the clip on the left. When I do, you'll see more options will become active. I'll tap the detach audio icon right here. Once I do, you'll see this green bar. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. The audio track has now been separated from the video. If I deleted the video at this point, the audio would disappear as well because they're linked together. So I'll tap the export icon, tap on audio only. Here I can choose where I want to save this audio clip. You only have two options for the audio format. So I'll leave M4A selected as that's the default and tap the export icon once more. I'll give my audio clip a descriptive name so that I can find it later. Just type your name into the text box. When you're done, hit the export icon in the upper right hand corner of this dialog box. I'm going to call it subscribe to my channel. Because I selected files, when the audio is exported, the Files app will open. Next, I'll select a folder and then tap on Save. The audio clip has now been saved to iCloud Drive using the Files app. Next, I'll find the file that I just saved. If you have a link set up to the imported folder in the Files app, tap the icon on the left. If you need to set up the link, tap the icon on the right and tap files. There's the file I just saved. I'll long press on it and bring it down into the timeline at the position where I want to place it. Now I'll play the video. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Once I place the audio track where I want it, if the video section is too long, I can edit it by removing the extra footage. I'll tap the scissors icon, move to the end of the footage, tap on the clip, and delete it. Then I can continue with my voiceover. Remember to let your editing software work for you and not the other way around. 